I told you guys about Dragon Ball games made by companies like Dimps and Spike, but I never mentioned Dragon Ball games made by you, the fans. And that's why the Deepest Got 1, 2, 3 now will be giving you guys our list of the top 3 best fan-made Dragon Ball games of all time. Now, it's all going to be in our opinion, so if you agree with us, that's cool. If you don't, then that's fine as well. With that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. For number 3 on our list, we have Dragon Ball Devolution. In terms of the story mode, it starts from the Twin Dura Budokai tournament in Dragon Ball and continues all the way up to the final battle in GT. So for a fan-made game, the story goes pretty in-depth. The gameplay is pretty simplistic. If you want to move it up, right, down, or left, then use the arrow key. Press X to attack, or hold it for a key blast or a super attack depending on how much energy you have. Lastly, if you want to block or charge key, then hold C. There's also a couple more advanced tricks that you can learn while you play. Also, this game has a huge number of side activities. It has you at least doing one fight from each Dragon Ball movie and special. So overall, this game has a huge level of content. So when you do finish the story, you'll still have a lot of things to do. And that's why this game is number 3 on our list. Number 2, Hyper DBZ. Probably one of the most in-depth fan-made Dragon Ball Z fighting games with its Street Fighter elements. That's what makes this game really great. Now, with its amazing in-depth combat, it has varying different modes. To so just doing an arcade mode, a team arcade mode, or just watching a battle, or even training. Now, with this as well, you can incorporate many different kind of fights, from doing a 1v1 to a 2v2. But with this 2v2 slash 1v1, it has very, very limited characters, from only having Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and Frieza. But what makes this game super unique is how every character plays differently. There is no character you're going to run into who is the exact same. And as of right now, there's only 4 characters and more to be added in the near future. But that's what makes this game very limited. It's fan made, but it has very little characters. So that's why it deserves a number 2 on this list. But it does get a thumbs up for, for the most in-depth combat. So that's why we put this on number 2. And finally, for number 1, we have Dragon Ball Heroes Mugen. Now, this game doesn't have an actual story mode, but instead it has an arcade mode, which lets you battle a series of Dragon Ball characters. The gameplay isn't as in-depth as Hyper Dragon Ball Z, but it's still pretty good for a decent fighter. Now, the main thing that makes this game stand out over the other fan-made Dragon Ball games, which is its enormous character roster having 126 playable characters. Granted, some of the slots are transformations, but it's still pretty impressive. It doesn't have many other side activities besides the versus and co-op, but overall, it's still a pretty fun game. And that's why this game is number one on our list. Well, this has been our list of the top three best fan-made Dragon Ball games of all time. If you guys agree with anything we had to say in the video, then give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and also people do. And even if you don't agree, that's fine too. But what are your top three best fan-made Dragon Ball games? Let us know in the comments. We really want to hear them because there's a lot of cool fan-made Dragon Ball games out there that we haven't even heard of. So let us know and we're re we really want to see it. So let us know in the comments down below of the video. Yeah, um, if you guys want to check out the Deepest Got 123 channel, I'll have it in the link down below. So uh, you can press that and go to his channel and check out some of his videos. Um, now I'm going to go take a nap because this took too long to edit. So uh, I'll let you take it out. So hope you all enjoyed the video. Hit up like here, all that kind of stuff right there. Um, and yeah, and I'll, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys, and have a great day.